Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain, and today I am demoing the A6 version, the European A6 size version of my matting tool. So I've put a piece of this um, sort of grippy stuff here, non slip grippy stuff, and I just cut a piece to size to put underneath here because I figured actually that helps. It doesn't move around as much as it would otherwise. So assuming this is my card, my card goes in here. And in this particular case, each of the frames has a little grip on the side. So you make sure your card is lined up and then you press down and you should be able to tell that it's actually gripped. So then you would do your matting. And where did I put my mats? Ah, there they are. Right, let's work out which one that is. This one is the biggest one. So, for example, if I put that in there, it fits. Okay, so that's the first one. So, to do your next layer, obviously you'd put glue on it and stick it down, etc. I recommend using a dry glue though, because if you put a wet glue on, you can still manoeuvre it while it's wet. And you don't want to misalign it after you stuck it down. Not a good idea. So the next one here is the red one, and you hear that go click, and this is the next one down, again, fits beautifully, so you stick it down, and off you go, you do the next one. Now what I'm going to do is to give you some guidance on what you would do if you wanted to put down a sticky back foil or something like that, because those are really notoriously difficult to do. So you would put your frame in, this is number three. Now pretend this is your sticky back foil. When it has the sticky protector on the back, obviously you can't stick it down. Pretty obvious, isn't it? However, what you need to do is to pull it off gently from one side, cut to somewhere in the middle, put that bit down, then bring up the other side and cut another bit in the middle. Now if you cut a V-shape from that side and a V-shape from that side, you'll find you've got a bit in the middle that you can tear away. So you tear that away, fold it over so nothing sticky can touch your frame until you're ready. And then it helps if I get the right size card bit for this, doesn't it? Which one's the right one? It's that one. So then you would take your foil, you would put the non-sticky bit down inside, stick it down in the middle where your sticky bit is, and then you can take your frame away like so and then you would lift up one side take away the backing put it down lift up the other side take away the backing and put it down and that means that you can do it really easily right so this one is the last one there we go and this is the small piece and that's that fitting in there. So as you can see, all fits perfectly and makes matting so easy. You'll wonder how you ever managed without one. Okay, if you want to get your hands on one of these, see the link to my blog at the moment. That's where you have to go to find the contact. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care now.